Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update. Monday, January 19th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2026. A G4 geomagnetic storm has arrived at Earth. Quite spectacular, not that significant. What is significant is the solar radiation storm earlier today. The S4 solar radiation storm peaked at the third strongest solar radiation storm since measurements began. Absolutely insane. The data went off the charts about six hours ago. Buckle up, Buttercup, and keep calm. It's boom time. For those that don't know, it was snowing in Florida yesterday morning. Can't make this up. And Al Gore is certainly pleased. Whiteout conditions report, reported across Michigan with dangerous travel through Tuesday. Throughout the day, we had multiple uh, snow squall warnings and a major pileup. Let's take a look at some of this footage over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project at Diamond the Dave. This is the 100-car pileup in Michigan earlier today. Absolutely insane. This is Zeeland, Michigan, and you can see tractor trailers and cars all over the place, off the road, and well, it's absolutely insane here, this pileup. And why people in Michigan don't understand the dangers of driving in the winter is beyond me. But I do digress. Follow us over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project at Diamond the Dave for daily updates. TornadoHQ.com live showing just a little bit of snow moving from the Great Lakes. Um, and now the full forecast. We've got lake effect snow and whiteout conditions in the Great Lakes region below average temperatures in the east. Heavy lake effect and lake enhanced snow will persist downwind of the Great Lakes and produce some whiteout conditions that could cause difficult travel conditions to say the least. A coastal low will produce moderate to heavy snow over parts of southern and eastern New England into the afternoon. Below average temperatures are expected across the eastern U.S. with freeze warnings extending all the way down to central Florida. The iguana apocalypse is on. And the snow is going to continue to fall. Here's Friday, January 23rd. And in a system here early in the weekend, look at this. Saturday and Sunday through Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus. Can you believe it? Dumping snow as deep as 20 inches in the Carolinas, as well as a huge swath of debilitating snow in Georgia. Uh, if these models hold true, holy macaroni, we've got a problem in the East. Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. Al Gore is not pleased. Seismic update. The West continues to rumble. The most recent quake happening just moments ago in Indio, California at 3.5. Buckle up, Buttercup, because I think that's an aftershock. Multiple quakes happening here in Indio. Let's blow this up. Yeah, this is a seismic swarm. Here we have a 3 mag, a 4.9 kicked it off, and half a dozen quakes now over the day. I'm sure rattling nerves in Southern Cali. Overall, slightly enhanced activity worldwide with multiple events, including a 6 magnitude in New Caledonia. We've got a 5 mag in Indonesia, a 5.2 in China. Who knew? Now you do 5.6 in Pakistan. Kilauea volcano eruption update for January 18th. Uh, based on the inflammation, the inflation at the summit, the USGS Hawaii Volcano Observatory on Saturday said models indicate episode 41 in the ongoing eruption could occur between the 20th and the 25th. So we'll keep a close eye on that. We'll be live streaming it over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Rumble. Worldwide Volcano News for the 19th, we've got Raventador, likely volcanic ash, ongoing volcanic ash to 20,000 feet at San Gay, 14,000 foot blast at Fuego, my own puffing and passing. Santa Guito, not on the list, Ibu to 6,000. 
Now you go to Gima in the De- Democratic Republic of Congo, lava flows remain active on the northwest flank. Piton de la Fornace eruption continues at a reduced rate. My own, an eruption was reported. Poas today increased activity, several phreatic explosions. Liwotolok volcano in the Limbada in Indonesia, increase of activity, alert level has been raised. Semadu, who knew? Now you do, an eruption was reported. Raventador sparse. Emissions of volcanic ash sank to 20,000 feet. Ongoing volcanic ash to 14,000 at Santa Huito. Fuego to 14,000 feet. Liwotolo to 7,000. Ibu to 6,000 feet. Wrapping up the list for the day. Northern lights may be visible in 24 states tonight as a massive CME races towards Earth. Well, it hit. And it hit like Schmidt. Here's the Aurora forecast for tonight. Colors overhead glow to the north for most of the states. You'll be able to pick it up. And the BZ is now shifting south. We hit almost KP9 just six hours ago, but we've dropped down to KP6 plus. But the BZ has shifted south. And that means, well, the aurora is going to be lighting up. It's, It's dumping south. Good news there. The bad news is we hit the highest radiation storm, the third highest ever in recorded history. The ongoing S4 radiation storm peaked at the third strongest solar radiation storm since measurements began, and it actually went off the chart here, up into S5. Holy macaroni. The electron flux was above levels for 24 hours, now dropped down low. Ho, ho, ho. As the BZ shifts south, this means that the northern lights are going to light up the sky overnight, so get out and look up. It's a good night for northern lights. And this is that X-flare that is smashing us in just about 36 hours, hours of powers, a big boom, and a big space weather news night. Now, what it is not, people are reporting that this is a near Carrington event. It's not even close. A Carrington, the Carrington event was 10 times more severe than any of this gobbledygook. It's just that these people have no idea what they're talking about, period. But I do digress. Astronomers discover an enormous iron bar in the famous Ring Nebula. We definitely need to know more. One thing popped out as clear as anything. This previously unknown bar of ionized iron atoms in the middle of the familiar iconic ring here of the Ring Nebula has been exposed. What does it mean? Well, maybe they're smelting iron there. Have you seen silver hit a new all-time high today? 95 bucks. And it is unobtainium in just a few days or weeks. I don't think you'll be able to buy silver below $100 an ounce by Friday. Trust Gold Co. and maybe qualify for a free half ounce Ronald Reagan pure silver coin. Request your free 2026 gold and silver kit now. The industry leader in hedging bets from collapsing stock markets to precious metals Well, trust Gold Co. Yeah, no obligation and no penalties from switching from shitty uh, IRAs to precious metal IRAs. Just fill out and request your free 2026 gold and silver kit now. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share this video. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Yeah. Mm-hmm.